Hey divas, these are the only products you need as a makeup beginner. You need eye pencil just to draw your brows and this is where you check the number of the pencil. For me, this is number three, Davis number three pencil. This is the one that I always use. If you are light skin or you are chocolate, you can use Davis number 18. If you are this color, my skin color to dark, just use Davis number three. Try as much as possible to avoid using black pencils. When you are using the pencil to draw your eyebrows, make sure it is well sharpened. Make sure it is sharp and then line the lower side of your brow. And when it comes to lining the upper side, leave a little bit of a space. And when filling in, just draw hair-like structures at the beginning of your brow to make it look natural. And then you can fill in the rest of your eyebrow. To clean the eyebrow, you need a concealer. And this is where you check the shade of the concealer. When you are choosing the shade of the concealer that you are supposed to use, make sure you use a concealer that is one or two shades lighter than your skin tone because you are going to use this concealer to clean your eyebrows, uh, to prepare your lids before applying your eyeshadow. You are also going to use it to highlight your face. So make sure it is one or two shades lighter than your skin tone. To clean the upper side of your eyebrow, you need a foundation. This is my foundation. This is the foundation I always use to apply on my face. So I just take a little amount and just clean the upper side of my eyebrow. It is much easier when using foundation on the upper side of the eyebrow because it is easy to blend. So when you are cleaning the upper side, just follow the exact shape of your eyebrow and just take it very slowly and use very little amount of product. Do not use a lot of product. Then as a beginner, you can repeat that as much as possible just to make sure your eyebrows are well done, they are well snatched. And once you are done with the eyebrows, you can move on to your eyelids just to prepare them before applying the eyeshadow. So use the same concealer you use to clean your brows and just blend that using a brush or a beauty blender. For the eyeshadow palette, I am using this Jujulaki palette. It has a wide variety of colors. So if you have to buy eyeshadow palette, choose the one that has wide variety of colors. And you do not need eyeshadow palette at all. Actually, you can do makeup without the eyeshadow palette. But if you have to buy it, just make sure it has a wide variety of colors. Then when it comes to the cut crease area, I am actually applying two colors, the transitioning color and the cut crease area and that's it. So I'm done with the transitioning color and then for the cut crease area, just tap in the product, do not drag it around. You also need eyeliner and as for me, I am using a liquid liner. This is Kiss Beauty liquid liner and I always apply it after applying eyeshadow it really works well like that for beginners just make sure you use your liner after doing your eyeshadow to avoid messing that line and then it also helps for those who do the lashes it guides you when you're doing the lashes on where to place your falses This is a mascara, you also need it to brush your natural lashes to make them look longer and more visible. You can also use it to brush your false lashes. If at all you have to do the false lashes like me, use dual lashes glue. It is the best I can advise for beginners. Just apply it on the strip of your lashes and give it some time for it to become tacky or sticky and then place it uh, on the upper side of your natural lashes just at the place where you have drawn your liner that is the area where you are supposed to place it and just allow it to stick well well you also need a moisturizer and one thing you should know about yourself is your skin type for those who have a dry skin like me you have to use a moisturizer and just massage it into your skin all around your face before applying anything else on your face that is the base and that is the first thing that you should do make sure you massage it well into your skin then you should have a primer and as for me i am using this fit me primer just apply it on the face and massage it into your skin you really need a primer in whatever skin type that you have because primer acts like the base of your makeup every makeup everything that you're going to apply on your face it has clay on this base which is the primer 
and that's it for skin prep then for the foundation you need a foundation that matches your skin tone whenever you are buying a foundation make sure it matches your skin tone and this is how you should match your skin tone take a little bit of the foundation and apply it between your neck and your chest at this area where i am applying my foundation then blend it or rub it at that area just make sure it is well blend and just check if it matches your skin tone if it is matches your skin color that's it that's your foundation choose that color for you and then to blend it on the face i am using this beauty blender and just push it into your skin do not drag it around And then remember to blend in your neck using the product on the beauty blender and for highlighting i am using the same concealer i used to clean my brows this is concealer in the shade phone as i said make sure the concealer that you're using is two or one shade lighter than your skin tone and just highlight below your eyes that is your under eye your forehead at the middle of your nose and then any areas that you can see dark spots on your face as for me i always feel like the area around my mouth is darker than the rest of my face then use a brush or a beauty blender just to blend in the concealer and do not use a lot of product and all the products that i am using will be on the description box with their names in case you need to check them out then as a beginner just apply the concealer and blend it immediately do not apply the concealer then the contour and then you will blend afterward concealer really dries up very fast so blend it fast before going to contour or setting the face just to avoid creases you need a setting powder and i can advise this such a buttercup setting powder because i've been using it and it works perfectly and then as a beginner avoid baking your face just set so tap the product and just tap behind your hand to remove any excess powder to avoid baking the face and just go on the areas which you highlighted using a concealer and just tap as you go just to set those areas You also need a concealer two shades darker than your skin tone as for me I am using this LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Dark Cocoa to contour my face and I am contouring my cheekbones as you can see just apply a little amount on your cheekbones then your forehead and the sides of your nose those are the areas which you are supposed to contour. Then do not use a lot of product, just use a little amount of product and to blend that, use the same beauty blender you used all through, that's what I use for me. You can also use a brush and just push in that product on that area, do not spread it all around. You need a bronze or a bronzer to set the areas which you contoured and I'm using this brush just to tap on the powder and just brush the areas which I contoured. You also need a blush. I am using this NYX blush. It is a powder blush. So I'm just going to tap with a brush and just take it over my cheeks with it very lightly. And it really gives a nice warmth on my cheeks. Look at that. You can also choose not to use blush at all. It is very optional. And then finally, you need a setting spray just to put everything together. No matter how small it is, you really need it. Then highlighter, you need it just to highlight your face. It is very optional too. You can choose not to have it. Luckily, my eyeshadow palette has a set of highlighters. You can also buy it separately. So I highlight my cupid's bow, the middle of my nose and my cheeks. And for the lips, I use my Davis pencil, the same pencil I use on my eyebrows just to line my lips. And this pencil works perfectly. That's why I advise brown pencils they can work as liners lip liners and for the lipstick you need a wide variety just the glosses the lipsticks just choose a variety that you need and then i apply it as my second color just to get that ombre lip look and it's amazing i hope you like this video leave a comment let me know what you think about it and kindly subscribe to this channel
so guys this is our final look we have used very affordable products and i hope you have understood every step if you have any question about anything i did on the video and you did not understand just leave it on the comment section i'll be answering it and kindly subscribe if you have not subscribed bye see you on the next video